Welcome to my lecture online. During the last several videos, we've shown how the Earth has these amazing thermostats. The Stefan Boltzmann's law, which causes more radiation to leave to space when it's very hot and less when it's cold. And we've also seen that we had that atmospheric window, which has always an opening where radiation from the Earth's surface can go back into space, keeping things from getting too hot, and has sufficient number of greenhouse gases and quantity of greenhouse gases to make sure it doesn't get too cold. But even though we have these two perfect thermostats, temperatures have always not been what they are today, where they're quite comfortable today. When we look at the ice cores that we dig out from the Antarctic, and those go down several miles down from the surface, and we look at other places around the world, we have sedimentary layers, and we dig into those layers, and we analyze the cores that we pull out of those layers, we realize that the climate has gone through tremendous changes just in the recent past. Over the last one million years or so, we can see that we've had periods of warm and very long periods of very cold weather especially the last 400,000 years or so, that's the information we get from the ice cores in the Antarctic, we can see that temperatures have varied by as much as 15 centigrade or 15 Celsius degrees from when it was really cold to where it's nice and comfortably warm today. Notice that these periods where it was warm, they're interspersed by about 100,000 year periods where it was very, very bitterly cold throughout the entire world. Well, relative today, it wasn't quite as cold at the equator compared to the northern, the northern regions and the southern regions, but in comparison, it was much, much colder than it is today. Notice that not that long ago, temperatures were indeed about 15 degrees Celsius, which is about 32 or 33 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than they are today. In the last 10,000 years, we've enjoyed some very, very nice climate on the world, which allowed civilizations to flourish. It wasn't until the last 10,000 years that people began to build cities and begin to build empires and, and just advance tremendously in culture and science and art because people lived on a world that was very, very nice and comfortable. But as you can see from the past, that this probably is not going to last. These periods of warmth called interglacials, they're relatively short in duration of about five to 10,000 years. And we're now in about year 11,000 of our current warm period. And if history holds, it is not going to be that way for much longer. It looks like, again, we're going to plunge into the next ice age. And those ice ages last for about 100,000 years. And when they begin, they go very, very fast. Temperatures drop precipitously in a very short period of time compared to the duration of those very cold periods. So yes, once it begins, we can see that the Earth will cool down. And there's not much we can do about it. The things that control the climate are well beyond our reach. We cannot do anything about that. And we'll talk about the causes of this in the next video so you can understand why there really isn't anything we can do about it. We're completely at the mercy of nature, so to speak. But we are now well prepared, I believe, to learn how to live in colder climates where before people were basically existing as best they could by living in caves. We have a lot of cave drawings that indicate that people try to get away from the cold by living in caves and building fires in there, trying to protect themselves from the harsh conditions outdoors. And of course, trying to travel to regions on the world where it wasn't quite as cold and the polar regions must have been absolutely, almost incredibly cold to live. Although during that period of time, we do believe that people managed to move from Asia to North America across the land bridge that was there when the oceans were much lower and there was lots of ice for them to cross over from one continent to the other. So you can see that even though we have these perfect thermostats, there are conditions other than what we can control that will cause the weather to change in tremendous ways. Notice that the kind of changes we're looking at today are minuscule compared to the vast changes that we've seen in the past. So, yes, it's a miracle in a way that we have survived these tremendously cold temperatures to be, be able to go again and live in a very nice, comfortable climate. But unfortunately, it's probably going to, going to end soon and we better be prepared to live in a very cold ice age period again.